Hi, Anne. How are you? I'm fine. It's really nice to see you. Well, it's always good to see you. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Migas Lodge and your life over there and your life over here. Yes. Uh, many of our guests know the most favorite view in the world that they have is to be out on the main dock or out on the terrace and look out here across the lake to your gazebo, which is really a treasure for them and for us. And uh, so here we are on the other side of the gazebo. So uh, I'd like you to offer anything you can uh, or anything that you'd like to along these lines. I, I will tell you, I remember not exactly when I met you first, but I know where I worked with you first, and that was at um, Tim and Joan's house in Wyndham, where we used to keep the uh, winter office and the, uh, the uh, greenhouse or the garden room. What did they call that room? Yes. Uh, oh, you know, with the glass roof yes, and all, whatever. Yes, the kind, kind of, of sunroom thing. Yeah, yeah, sunroom, yes, yes. And I had never used a computer until the day I arrived in Maine and <laughs> in your capable hands, and you showed me how to uh, uh, use the computer there. I probably and, had just used it that year, first time myself that year. <laughs> well, you were a very good trainer. Well, that was in 1988. But I know you go back a long way with Migus Lodge. So can you tell me what your very first memory is of Migus? Well, I do remember being here at my guess, as a guest in my teens. I used to play, uh, I used to go fishing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with another gal, and I don't remember her name. Mm -hmm. And then I also uh, used to play ping pong. They used to have a ping pong table set up on the porch okay. of the main lodge. Oh. And that's where we would play ping pong, and I used to play ping pong with a couple of the other guests, a couple of teenage boys that were there at the same time. Oh, great, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have vacation buddies when you meet somebody when you're oh, yeah. away. It yeah. was always fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you were a guest. Your mother was it? You came with your mother, is that right? And how? Yes. what was your mother's uh, 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 time frame at Migas? Her time frame at Migas? Oh, my goodness. Um, her... Parents stayed at Migas. Oh my word! Back in 1920 or 1919, uh, if you look in the very first guest books, my grandparents are signed in, and my mother. Uh, fast forward. When did you? How did you come to work at Migas? And oh. who was your first employer? And who hired? Now tell me about that. Okay. Well, I I think you knew, but I will tell you the story. <laughs> uh, when it was winter time, and uh, I had before that I had worked on uh, Fry Island mm -hmm. for a couple of years, mm -hmm. but in the middle of winter I was taking a walk around out by the gazebo, and there was ice on the lake, so it must have been at least February. Yeah, sure. Because Gene Porter was skating out there. That was Tim's dad, uh -huh. and he, I knew Gene, and you know we would he would say hi and and everything all the time. But anyway, this time he stopped me. And he said, what are you doing this summer? And I said, I was going to loaf. <laughs> I was retired. <laughs> yeah. And he said, well, how would you like to come to work for me? And I said, doing what? He said, the office, running the office. He said, I need somebody to do the letters starting right now. Yeah, this was, yeah. So this was February or... So sure, sure, and uh, so I thought about it, and I said, I said, yeah, that might be fun. Oh, great. <laughs> so great. Um, he said, but when you come over, you can't call me June Jean anymore. I'm Mr. Porter. Mr. Porter. When we're at work. Oh, well, <laughs> not when I was just working with him, but when we mm -hmm. were at the lodge, when the lodge was open, he was Mr. Porter. Hmm. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was there with my father before they were married Ooh. and you know with with her parents yeah also. yeah yeah and uh, so I mean my family goes back quite a long time there because my mother went to the Gulick camps yes yes and then I went to the Gulick camps yes and your daughters and my daughters and, and my your grand <laughs> two granddaughters. There you go. So that's four generations yeah. of, uh, of of you uh, ladies going to uh, the Gulick camps. That's wonderful.